Bezos. So the, here's the big thing. The, the, big, the big date, the supposedly stuff's launching is April 24th. That's the big day for Amazon. So that I, I, great, that's great fun. You're hearing it right here. April 24th, some major shit might happen. Um, if, it, if it's true, mar the market's just going to go like this. Just hockey stick vertical off that news. Because when Meta decides to change their I mean, when Facebook changed their name to Meta. Like, that was huge. Meta, right? Into Meta, into Meta and stuff like that. I mean, crypto just went like... Boom! The whole the whole gaming industry shot up. So the NFT the the NFT industry will probably go back into a bull market at that point. So we, we basically, if if it does happen, like on the twenty fourth, we're basically gonna, we're going to get an NFT bull market in about a month and some change. It's going to be crazy to see how their platform operates and to also see how OpenSea competes with them. Yeah, the main problem with OpenSea is they fucked up, man. They should have had a token mm -hmm. out right now. Yeah. Stupid. It's so dumb. Like the right now, the best NFT platform right now is is looks rare because you mm -hmm. can own it. It generates income and stuff like that. that's. Really, it's it is the Pepsi right now, but we'll see. Like I mean, OpenSea is basically going to have to copy pasta. Looks rare. This is why we invest. You know, shout out to um, you know, shout out to our boys at uh, Mintra and stuff. We we um they copied they cop they um, they essentially forked um they forked um, um looks rare, and or putting it on Pulse Chain and stuff. And I think it's going to be the premier. NFT platform and stuff like that. Mitchell's going to be huge. Yeah, Mitchell's going to be really huge and stuff. So I'm definitely going to be using I'll have those guys on the show at some point as well. I think they are coming to Vegas in a month or two or so. Um, or if not, I'll, I'll see if I can chew my way into making them come over here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, man. Um, what do you think about Texan and ASIC? Ace, I don't know. My, uh, stay away from ASIC. But Texan, I mean, the, the guys are really nice. Like I personally just stayed away from it just because it's like not my cup of tea, if I'm being honest, you know. But I think they're good guys, and the coin's done pretty well. The community, investing community, and you'll do well. You know, I th I've said that. That's the long-term vision of it, and the Texas token during the snapshot will probably do pretty well. I mean, Hedron will do well, Pex will do well, the Perpetual tokens will do well. I mean, Icosa will do well. I mean, the tokens that are hex related that have communities are going to pump off of the snapshot because everyone's trying to own the P versions of that because they're probably going to have value. And at some point, most of us are going to be playing on the Pulse chain, not on Ethereum anymore. Well, we, the hex price will still be worth pretty well, but like it'll be more of like people, but just the hex and hedron will be doing okay. And every other coin is mostly going to probably be a ghost town. I, I really predict this is what you want to hear a prediction. Hex and Hedron are probably going to still be w relatively worth very much amount of money and still be traded pretty heavily on the Ethereum chain. Every other every other stuff is probably going outside of maybe the perpetuals when they pay out or something like that is going to be a ghost town. It's all moving to a pulse chain. Yeah. So, FYI. When Lambo? Actually, pretty soon, actually. <laughs> <laughs> We're... Uh, Return on flex, you guys. Um, return on flex. Return on flex, man. I'm uh, me and Charlie going to start flexing pretty soon. Let me say that. <laughs> Dude, I remember when you came to the studio. Um, you're like, you want to try on the watch? I was like, can I? And you, ha we were, we were in here like cheesing, like trying on your guys' watches. And you're like, yeah, that one's this much. That one's this much. We were like, what? You're like, take this, like, take this back. <laughs> you want to know something funny, man? Like the car, the car I got was paid for by Spooky Swap profits. From the that's last crazy. Time. Spooky Swap profits. That's crazy. Shout out Pussy Gang. Shout out <laughs> Pussy Gang. Pussy Gang, baby. Oath token, baby. That's, that's what I'm saying, man. I like, I would be crazy. I would be, I'm not even selling my hex right now. Wouldn't be crazy? <laughs> <laughs> you got to choose a sacrificial lamb, man. Like, the jacket's made of fucking goat. Literally. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I'm the goat, baby. I'm telling the you, this, this, is actually, this is actually made a goat. Talk your shit, Miguel. Talk your shit. The meteorite Pepsi's coming. Dude, I love, I, the one thing I love doing, because I, I wish someone did this for me, like, I actually had a pretty famous comedian, um, uh, was it, I think it was Brian Callen. Brian Callen had a really, really nice Rolex. I saw him in person, and he showed me his Rolex, and it was the first time I've ever seen like a like a gold roll. He had the blue, he had the this exact watch, the bluesy on, and I was like, I've never wanted a watch in my life, and I saw that, and I was like, wow, it was the coolest shit ever. I was like, I'm getting it, 
and that's it's, a flex that you said it's this exact one and you're telling the story about it yeah yeah no definitely it was it was like yeah he had like uh he had like, like he had the uh the bluesy on the, the submariner and i was like that shit is so it was so shiny because the stock you know stage lights are hitting the light are hitting you down like this mm -hmm. and it was like such a beautiful watch you like you can't help but notice it you're just like wow and um yeah, I mean, they're, I mean, they're a great investment. And watches, as long as you're buying them straight from like the um, the dealer and stuff, or you're buying a, a rare one or something, they they hold their value pretty well. Better than a car, yeah. Yeah, better than a car, right? Uh, the mat, the license plate should be Magic Cat, dude. That's actually a great. That's license. genius. Yo, hold up. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Can you throw that on Twitter. Yo, that's a that's a sick, that's actually a pretty cool. Uh, that's actually damn, son. Holy fuck! I was gonna use some, like I I don't want to say the lights. I have an idea for what I was gonna use, but uh, damn, magic cat might be. <laughs> oh, it fits. It's only it right. Fit. It kind of fits. I ain't gonna lie, dude. That kind of hella fits. <laughs> the magic cat. Is the magic oh cat. man. Oh yep. shit. Damn. Smooth. That was smooth, you guys. That actually was pretty fucking lit. <laughs> That's a W. That's a